show you. Oh, she's oh she she's fired. Okay. <laughs> Before the video even starts, she's fired. Baby girl, you don't have a job. You're an employee. <laughs> All right. So you know what? Take that steam mat. Okay, we'll do that at the video. Cause I'm gonna take that steam mat down and put one of those there. So I can put that micro cores over there with that micro cores and put no that steam mat down there. I don't care. Okay, so oh, no. <laughs> sorry about that, y'all. Okay, so we trying to put this stuff up because I got a I got stuff to do. Okay, she's busy. Not even booked busy. She around the house busy. Okay, so we went to Cypress Outlet. If you you should have already seen our Michael Kors haul. If you did not see our Michael Kors haul, you need to click that little thing up there that I'm gonna put up there so you can see our Michael Kors haul and see how we only spent almost 250, 60 bucks on five bags count them one two three four five eh. all right so we went to cypress outlet and i'm a lover of shoes i am 39 years old she's cute <laughs> um i'm 39 years old and i'm really getting to the comfy look when i go places i used to be into the skirts and the heels and a cute little dress i still wear a cute sundress or something because you know you get hot sometimes you just don't want to be in no jeans and sometimes your legs be looking too fat for the shorts but <laughs> i'm getting to a place where i like to be comfy and cute and still stylish like i don't want to compromise on my style but I want to be cute too. And then in the summertime, I like to rock the natural and just wear some shorts or a cute tank top or a cute sundress. But I like to wear tennis shoes or sandals because every day don't cost for heels. Anyway, I'm a lover for shoes. And I love sneakers. And I love all kinds of sneakers. So, with that being said, we went to the Puma store. And in the Puma store, I got these. Now, I know what you're saying. Key, they don't look that cute in person. I know they don't, girl, but wait till I put them on the, uh, wait till I dress these up. When I put them on my feet, I fell in love. Not only did I fall in love, my cousin fell in love, hence why she got a pair too, after she seen them on my feet. But these are lit, and I actually have clothes in my closet that will go with this. See, I'm tripping. I need to get some neon green. She's got mm -hmm. so many neon green. green you got, fits. you got a bunch of neon, neon green, green outfits. And I don't have not one neon But it's a nine and, and a half. So we can share it. So size eight. Yeah, I bet you can fit this shoe. And, and man, try the shoe on. I bet I you can. Eight. I bet you can fit that shoe. I can. She can fit this shoe. Two, anyway, four. that shoe was forty nine dollars. So I got that. And then I swear to God, too big. Like it's I too see. big. Yes, I got way too much room up here. You better, I can't even tell. If the shoe wasn't tight on my feet, like it was, too it would slide out. Yeah, but it's tight on my feet. So you could probably get away with it. Like if you want to wear the shoe, you could get away with it, and you wouldn't have to worry about it coming out. You put it in the box. But I, got, I fell in love with this shoe because I found in my head so many ways to pair this. That shoe is actually pretty. Yeah, it's actually pretty. I found so many ways to pair this shoe. Um, I'm really getting into Puma. I own four pair of Puma shoes already. And I'm really starting to like the way they shape their shoes, the design of their shoes and everything. Their shoes be really, really lit. And I just pictured this with some white jeans, oh black shirt with these shoes or some black jeans white shirt with these shoes and just really rocking them or throwing a pair of a white white pair of shorts or a black pair of shorts with this and freaking them or hell i got a black and white dress in there i wear these tennis shoes and freaking them with that but i thought these was really really cute these were 70 dollars so, three or four pairs of homes. Oh, and it's a wide fit shoe. So this is for people with wide feet like myself. Had this shoe not been wide. Now, here's the gag. Some pumas I can't wear unless they are 10 in men's. Because they fit narrow. Like they really fit tight. But if you get the wide fit shoe from Puma, you can fit a nine and a half if you were if you would normally wear a 10 in men's. So yeah. Um, along with that, I decided to get these shirts. So I got this Puma shirt, and I got this Puma shirt. So, this was my idea of thinking. If I wear white jeans, I can wear this shirt with them black and white Pumas. And if I wear black jeans, I can wear this white shirt with them black and white Pumas. Or I can wear all white and freak that whole all white outfit with them black and white Pumas. Or I can wear all black jeans. Either way, it's going to work. 
because I'm just that damn good. Now, my total, oh, that was shirts for $9.99. My total was $151.52, and I saved $45.03. And you probably like, King, King, you were supposed to be on a budget. I was on a budget, okay? All right. I knew that when I went there, that it was going. I was going to spend about five, six hundred dollars. I knew it. I had already put that in the budget because it's an outlet. And when I go to the outlet, I ask the food. So the next Ooh. pair, and that's the. This is the last pair of shoes. I don't know what this is in here. Come on, open it. That might be a coupon. Wasn't gonna get them. When I seen the price tag, my, uh, my shoes. when I seen the price tag on this, I was not gonna get these shoes. I tried these shoes on. I had to walk out the store with them. Okay, so the shoes are originally one hundred and thirty nine dollars. They probably was higher than that, but they was on sale at the Nike outlet for one hundred and thirty nine dollars. Then you get an additional twenty percent off. Then I seen a little small scratch. I just say I I should stop doing it, but I'm not gonna never stop because you then you can see it. I can see it even through the camera. It's really noticeable. It's a long scratch right here. When you buy something brand new, I'm gonna tell y'all something. When you buy something brand new, it's chipped or it got a stain or it got any type of scratch on there. That store can give you up to 10 to 20 percent off on your item. I was not gonna pay for this shoe. And it had a scratch and it's supposed to be brand new. Now, I could have easily went to the back of the store and got just another pair of shoes. But no, I knew that they were going to give me an additional 10%. Yeah, that's what I Who think. turns down a coin? Not I said the cat. Because who really going to pay attention to this scratch? Not me. And, and I don't care nobody saying. else do either. That's what I was saying. That's why I was like, you need to stop doing that and make you look broke. That's not cute. I am broke. That's not cute. Okay, I'm lying. I'm that. not broke, but I'm a sucker for a savings. And I will always, when it comes to a coin and I can save on a coin, I will always try to save on a coin. Like that man yeah. knew what you was up to. I know he, he did. To, that's how he kept trying to. And I kept trying to tell him now, no, sir. No, sir. I want my 10% off. Because you. this is what you're going to do. If somebody else come and complain about this shoe having a scratch, you're going to give them the 10% off. So you won't give me this 10% off too. So hence, I walked up out of there with this shoe. Now what if you would have said, ma'am, I'll just go get you another shoe from the back. I said, no, I want this shoe, and I want the 10% off. Ah, uh, you out of there. Yeah. yeah. I, that's exactly what I would have said. Because here's the thing. That's just like, I bought an elephant, and the elephant had like a little chipped piece. But I knew that the value of, when anything is scratched, did it, or messed up, the value of the product goes down. And I know that if when you're trying to sell me something, the pro, the, the value of this shoe is no longer what, it, what you were selling it for. It went down. I need that percentage off, and I'm okay with walking around with this scratch on this shoe. Because $139 shoe, I only paid $73 for this shoe. She's good. She's more than good. I just don't understand because she ain't never had to save a coin. But I'm going to save these coins. I understand, but I if I, just, if I just, I don't care about no image. I am an image. I'm a breath of fresh air. I, look here. I, did I go to sleep good last night? You're damn right at the end. And who am I trying to please and entertain? Nobody but myself. When it's all said done, when I go to sleep, what image matters? My image. And who does it matter to? Me. Well, I if that was me, I'm saying, like, if that was me, I would have felt bad. Like, I wouldn't have. Yeah, been she there. has, she has a, it's not about, it's not, and I think that's how you wording it wrong. It's not that she cares about her image. She just feels like, okay, if that was messed up, I could just go back and get another one that's not messed up. And I don't, in her mind, she feels like she's getting over. Am I saying it right now? Yes. That she feels like she's getting over on people if she does that. But if she gets older, she will understand that it's not getting over on people. When you're selling something, because I've worked in retail. A lot of times in retail departments, they're either going to trash items like this. Or they're going to put them, drop the price lower because now it's lost its value because it's scratched, dented, or have a stain on it. I will go buy a dress. And if it has a stain on it, if I want that dress bad enough and that's the last dress or whatever, even if it ain't the last dress, if, I want, if I'm not walking back there, I need that 10% off. Because you're going to either throw this dress away or you're going to put it on the sale rack. And you're going to mark it way down because you know in retail that the value has went down on that product. That's like uh, expired canned goods. 
we know the canned goods are still good, but they're going to probably mark them down to 20 cent a can where they would normally be 66, 66 cent a can because the value has went down because of that expiration date that was put on there. So as she goes through life, she'll, uh, she'll learn that that's like driving a new car off the lot. Yes, you have 14 days to bring it back, but the value of the car now has went down. And now they have to sell that car when you bring it back at a lower price to somebody else because you drove it off the lot and drove it around. The value is gone. But in her mind, she feels like right now she, she would be getting over on somebody if she does that, which is understandable. I understand her side too. And if she shops with mommy more, which she should be used to this by now, she will understand mommy's point too. You're going to sell it to Jane, Paul, or Tanisha for 10% less. So I might as well take that 10%. Especially when you got this child right here. They like nails and hair and toes. And now she like Michael Kors, okay? And then you got a boy that got two turtles. It's like having two extra kids because they eat real fish. And then you got a little big old tall six fold child that every now and then he need to borrow five or ten dollars from his mama because he done spent all his money getting Uber rides. Then you got a husband that think that I am the ATM at when life goes wrong. Because he know I save money. Are you supposed to be surprised? See? Are you another head? I did good saving on this 10%. Are you another head? But I'm tired of this black head. Well, I, 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 we'll see. I'm probably going somewhere this weekend. Uh, I mean, this week. So I'll get you. We'll go this week. I got some. Nine times 10, I'm going to have something I got to do. So, All right. Anyway, we're going to get out of here because this video is already long enough. Remember, if nobody tells you you're beautiful, remember, Sippy Key will always tell you you're beautiful. And when you get stuff and you pick it up and it's scratching, then it, you, 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 you get your 10% off, okay? Won't you be shamed? I ain't shamed. Uh, what about shoes? What shoes, baby? My shoes. <gasps> oh, yeah. Show the people your shoes, well, girl. I'm just going to make sure my shoes are in there. Girl. Oh, we've been talking, running our mouth. Hold it up, screw. These are cute. This a vibe. This a whole vibe. I like the these. I and I would have got school them. with these on. And I was like, I wanted these. I think I seen somebody with school. I seen somebody with these shoes and I wanted them. So when I seen them, she was like, look around the store and you see if you see some other shoes. I already knew I want these shoes. I didn't want no other shoe. I wanted this shoe. But I was just going to look around and see if I found something better. And I probably did, but it was too expensive and I was on a budget. Cause I have something I'm trying to do with my money. So I have to save it up. So she got that. How much you made for those? About $74. Maybe. Yeah. And I just type that if somebody in her school got something, she not going to buy it. She do not like having the same stuff that somebody in her school has. She hates it with a passion. She will not do it. That's why I say she got her own style. She do her own thing. So for her to get these shoes, it had to be only one person that had these shoes on in her school. Oh, it was. She <laughs> barely wear them anyway. Because she wouldn't have got these shoes. I'm telling you. So yeah. Uh okay, so we're finna get out of here. We will see you guys in the next video because this sun is dusty. It's playing dusty, baby. So I'm finna get out of here because I got some greens cooking on the stove and I need to finish my meal. I just really helped me clean my room. So I'm really grateful for that. I just got a little picking up that I need to do for myself. So yeah, I'm finna get out of here. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. My eye itch. Your eye itch. Okay, y'all. So I made it to work. I am at work doing my job. <sighs> y'all, the energy that I had this morning when I pulled up to this job, I didn't have that same energy.